I was very active. I played racquetball, I walked. When the pain in my hip got to be problematic, I decided that maybe I should then, in fact. We had gone to visit a friend in the neighborhood. We had walked down there, had a seat on the couch, and then when it was time to leave, I couldn't get off the couch. Susan came to see me because her hip was bothering her pretty severely. It started uh, not quite so bad, but as she walked, as she moved around, it began bothering her more and more. When we evaluated her, we got x-rays, and the x-rays demonstrated uh, something called avascular necrosis, which is a, a process in which the blood supply to a part of the hip gets interrupted. And so the bone of that part of the hip dies and it leads fairly quickly to a, a severe arthritic process in the hip. And once that takes place, it acts just like a badly arthritic hip. The solution to this is, you know, we would do a hip replacement. Well, at that point in my life, I, I was just stunned. I didn't think myself to be of an age that would require hip replacement, but the x-rays that MRIs didn't lie. Avascular necrosis is not something that we can put back or change, and so once the pain becomes bad enough, uh, the option is to replace that hip, and that's what we did for Susan. The recovery time from the surgery itself was a six week period. Premier Orthopedics Rehab Center was convenient to me, so I just came right over here and finished out my, my rehab strategy and then got back to life as I'd known it. We're able to return people to uh, near normal, if not normal, lifestyles by getting rid of the pain associated with a badly arthritic hip. And that, in fact, is what happened with Susan. His staff, his nurses, here at Premier have just been, you couldn't ask for anybody any nicer than they have been, or more helpful.